Hey guys, x 50 here, and today is going to be another door closer video. And in this video, there's nothing going to be too special, but I have done some slight changes to some of my door closers, and let's go ahead and get started. So we have the same Tell residential door closer, doing good. Um, I am considering repainting it soon. I don't know when, but I will eventually. So, yeah. Um, because it does kind of look a little bad. See, it's scratched up here and there, and that's not nice. So, since it's getting colder outside and we have entered December, um, our heat has been turned on lately. And if you don't know, most door closers like this are hydraulic, which means there's oil inside of it. And basically, when it, and this is why they say you shouldn't mount door closers outside, one of the reasons, but the temp temperature can affect the door closer if it still has oil in it, which it should if you want it to work properly. But since the heat's been on, um, it's causing the door closer to go a little bit faster. Not like a, you won't really notice it a lot, but it has gone a little bit faster. And especially what I've noticed is the latch has gone faster. It's kind of given a little slam, not like a terrible slam, but noticeable slam. So I did adjust the latch a little. Let's go and look at it. So put it up all the way, and same magnetic door stops there, and let's let it go. It's a nice smooth latch. Let's do that again from the door's angle. It's nice and smooth. Now let's open it up a little bit like this. Latches. Latches just about anywhere. See? Which is awesome. So yeah, it's doing good. Um, everything's all tight and everything. Yeah, it's been, it's been doing good. So now let's check out the other closer. Okay, so now on my closet door, we have the same ultra closer right here. It's doing really well. Nothing too major changed with it, but I actually did preload this closer. I guess you could say on accident. I noticed, here's what happened. So on the parallel arm bracket, when it used to, I got so many holes on this door, I probably need to fill, but I had to move it over because I noticed the bracket was getting loose and I kept trying to tighten screws to replace them, it didn't help. So I moved it over closer to the corner and I forgot because you can't adjust the arm. The further away you mount the bracket, the more preload the closer has. So we look in here. Yes, it is a little bit preloaded. There's no need for preload because the closer could control the door well. But since I had to move over the bracket, it did preload it. So it doesn't bother me, but I'm just saying. So there it is. It's not entirely preloaded, just a little bit. I don't intend to preload it anymore because it's just unnecessary. I don't really need it to, unless this door's only used and I want to get something either for my firearm collection, exit signs, wire, etc. Let's do that again. Oops, my foot was in the way. Let's do it right about here. There it is. And yes, it still has the hold open, because this is a hold open closer. See, it can open up all the way and stay open, which is really helpful when I'm trying to get some stuff. Especially like if I want to get a couple exit signs out, I can just have it on hold open, and it is an internal hold open. I kind of don't like internal hold opens, at least for like doors that are constantly used, because if someone comes in and does this, it just stays open. I like the ones that you have to do something like on a couple LC enclosures. You have to turn something to keep it on. I like that. Or it's like intentionally you want to hold open. But, you know. So it is pretty good. And it latches. I do need to oil up some of these hinges. And I don't know if I mentioned this in the last one. But I added a little hinge pin door stop. Because it has been hitting my fire alarm mini system board. And there's a little sneak peek for you. And oops, this isn't pushed in. 
but it's been hitting it, and as you can see, let's see if I can focus here, it's not hitting it. But I do need to oil up those hinges, they're really squeaky. Now let's do that one more time, 90 degrees, I mean less than 90 degrees, and perfect. So, there that is. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any question or questions or comments, feel free to ask. I guess I will see you guys in another video. Bye.